Hey, incoming first years. Um, my name is Lillian. I'm a junior from Naperville, Illinois um, in Pearson College. And I just wanted to take some time to share with you what it looks like for me to follow Jesus at Yale. Um, I'm a part of Yale Students for Christ, or YSC for short, which is a student Christian fellowship group um, where our mission is to live out faith, hope, and love in our campus, city, and world. Um, I think maybe the city part might not be at the forefront of your minds right now. Uh, I know that it's already so difficult um, to think about pursuing your relationship with God in the new context of college, um, let alone in a new city entirely. Uh, but wherever you're at right now, um, I just want to share a little bit about my personal experience with New Haven um, and seeing God in New Haven um, in the hopes of maybe um, helping you think more about that. New Haven, as you may know, is a small to mid-sized city um, that is very, very diverse. There's no ethnic majority, um, but also facing a variety of issues um, and a lot of brokenness. So I came in um, really wanting to serve New Haven, really wanting to do good, um, make impact. Um, but I didn't know how much of my journey um, experiencing the city would be really led by faith, um, how much God actually had in store to teach me um, rather than me teach others um, from my experiences with people in the city. And something I remember so starkly is um, um, one day, it was Holy Thursday actually, uh, of my second semester at Yale. I was volunteering with a group that um, washes the feet of people experiencing homelessness and provides them with free shoes. And that morning, um, I went in to wash the feet of these people um, in the basement of a church. And I was just meditating on, you know, how Jesus was washing the feet of his disciples um, and just feeling so inspired and moved by that, of course. Um, but going in uh, and through the experience, I was struck by how much I didn't feel like Jesus and how much I actually felt like the disciples um, because these people were so open and vulnerable and sharing their experiences with God with me and their testimonies. Um, and despite all the brokenness that they were facing, um, they were just so on fire for God. Um, and I left feeling really shaken, but also really inspired um, and with a conviction that God is moving in the city in ways that I really wanted to experience and witness and learn from. Um, and so fast forward to last semester, um, after some time just doing various things in New Haven, but not not engaging as fully as I would want to. Um, I did a program over spring break called um, Intersect New Haven, which is led by YSC, um, where we really got to see the city for what it was. Um, we met a pastor um, who ministers at homicide sites. Um, we met people in an organization um, that advocates for homelessness, uh, not for homelessness, but um, for housing security, food security for people facing homelessness, um, started by people who were facing homelessness. And I just remember something one woman said, which is, you know, people think that I'm poor, but I'm not. I'm so rich. I'm rich in love. I'm rich in relationships. I'm rich in Christ. Her name was Kim, um, and Kim was just, I think these words were such a revelation and a blessing to me um, to hear her say, you know, like, through God, we are made rich, um, not because we have hope in the riches of the world, but because we have hope in an eternal kingdom that is overflowing. Um, and so experiences like these, I think, have really um, shown me how much the how much I have to learn from the city um, and on top of that how important it is um, to be engaging with the city where God is working so so strongly in um, so hopefully as you continue to think about whether you want to come to Yale or if you've already committed how you want to engage um, and how you um, are listening to God within that um, hopefully you also think about New Haven and engaging with New Haven thank you I hope you have a great day